So just how effective is the media? Well, that depends on the medium or the combination of media being used. Some media attract more attention than others. Some media have greater impact than others. For example, a carefully read book will have a greater impact on you as an individual than a casually viewed television show. But a single television show reaches far, far more people than a book. Advertisers know in order to have the greatest impact on sales, you use a mix of media. That's the lesson that these three young baseball players learned. Another important element in media effectiveness is how the message is presented. It really takes hard work to make a message attractive enough to receive, powerful enough to remember, and influential enough to make an impact. And to be successful, a message must be received, remembered, and create an action. Without the action part, the message is a failure. Memorable presentations don't mean much without results. One of the most popular media icons in 1999 and 2000 was the Taco Bell Chihuahua. But in August of 2001, the dog was fired. Why? Sales were down. Memory, remembering all those cute Taco Bell Chihuahua commercials, didn't result in action. Sales. Another key element in effectiveness is the impact of the specific medium. And some media are more powerful than others. For example, films have a much greater impact on the individual than television because we become more psychologically involved with the action on the screen. Radio can actually have a greater impact than television because we use our imaginations to become involved with the radio content. Budweiser presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Nudist Colony Activity Coordinator. Mr. Nudist Colony Activity Coordinator. Wearing nothing but a whistle and a clipboard, you're living the real American dream. Getting paid to think up fun things to do naked. Running free. Sure, there's danger. Vinyl chairs, sunburns, chaffage, and lawn darts, completely out of the question. Watch out now. Your keen instincts tell you to stick to activities that involve lots of bouncing and jiggling. And if that doesn't work, who cares? You're all naked. It's your birthday. So this bud's for you, nudie boy. Because we all know, when the going gets tough, the tough get naked. TV can sometimes have a greater impact because the number of times we can be exposed to a message. We might see a television commercial over and over and over again and the repetition aids in remembrance and impact. Matching the nature of the message to the power of the medium used is both a science and an art and we'll discuss this in more detail later on. Timing is another important element. These people are happy because they eat lard. Well, in the 1950s, when this advertisement ran, that was a powerful message. In the 2000s, where we have a much greater understanding over the issues of health and animal fat, people laugh when they see this. So no matter how powerful the message is, I have to be in a receptive mood for it to influence me. And I'm just not in a receptive mood to be motivated by the health qualities of lard. I might hear a thousand messages for shoes, but if I'm not in the market for new shoes, the messages are wasted. The day I decide I need new shoes, though, even a poorly constructed message might have a great impact. A message about the need to conserve water has little impact in the middle of the rainy season. But I'll be much more receptive to that message in the middle of a drought as I watch my lawn die. You also have to match the message to the audience. This is an advertisement for a feminine hygiene product. 
but this advertisement's wasted on me. No matter how many times I hear it, no matter how well constructed it is, no matter how many times I view it, I don't anticipate it influencing me into action. The message doesn't match the audience. A senior center would not be a good place to give a message attacking Social Security. The National Rifle Association Convention would not be a good place to deliver a message supporting gun control. People who are trying to influence you spend large sums of money analyzing the potential audience. They want to match the nature of the message with the correct demographics, psychographics, sociographics of the receiver. When I started looking for examples for this section of the course, I came across this Charles Atlas ad. Now, I hadn't seen a Charles Atlas ad in 35 years, but I vividly remember where they were placed. I was a big comic book fan when I was a kid, and I vividly remember them having an impact on me because I was kind of a skinny kid. This is an example of a message that was perfectly matched to the audience of young, impressionable males who are reading comic books. In the last part of Module 4, we'll look at how mass media has taken over the very idea of leisure time.